What's up everyone, Willie Apple here, and today we're going to be talking about my wish list for WatchOS 11. It's hard to believe Dub Dub is coming pretty soon, but yeah, it's time to talk about WatchOS 11. Alright, so there's going to be a lot of workout related stuff, but I will be making sure there are a couple of other things, since there are some things that I really want inside of WatchOS 11. So let's get started with the first one, we're going to start with the workout app. So I'm a runner, right now I'm taking a break, but when I do run, I would really appreciate if I can go into a running workout, and if I see buttons right here, so instead of having to scroll like this, what if we had customizable toolbar buttons? So like we could have one right here, right here, there would be a default view, which has like the time, maybe a customizable widget, like maybe a segment, and then you could customize to have a heart rate, and then you could customize to have toolbar buttons on the bottom. So there would be like a pause and maybe a segment button right here instead of you needing to scroll over here and press the pause or resume button. That would just make things a lot easier since the Apple Watch right here does not have multiple buttons. It only has this right here and here, but you have to like press both of them and press both of them to pause and play it, which could be kind of annoying, but yeah. Also, you gotta double tap right now to do segments. Also really annoying that you gotta do that. Alright, so hear me out, this is going to sound like a gimmick, but I talked about this in my iOS 18 wishlist video if you haven't seen that yet. You can watch it right there if you want to. But what if we got live activity slideovers? Uh, it's going to be a lot more basic than it would be in iOS, where you just press and hold right here and slide something over. It's kind of like these widgets right here, but maybe interactive. It's kind of hard to explain, but maybe you could go inside of a workout, and then you could press and hold the top. And I know right now that does notifications, but what if that could do this widget view would just show up and then you'll just be able to scroll through it. I just think that would be a lot easier. Right now I really don't use this widget center, but I could see the use out of it if it was inside of the workout and accessible. Or maybe they could have the button right here instead of control center. Maybe they have control center actions in there. Or maybe once you do in the control center and you scroll all the way down, it goes in the widgets, who knows. That's probably my best way of integrating this. So the next thing inside of WatchOS 11 that I really want is in the workout app once again. What if inside of a workout, you could have work, recovery, and repeats, but there's no other options here. There's no rest option. What if you were to able to scroll down and press rest? And basically that would be recovery, but you're just doing standing rest. It would just automatically pause. And after that amount of time, it would play again. And then maybe just like this, you could have open rest or time rest. Because sometimes when I do workouts, I really don't want to use recovery and I'd rather just pause it. But I would much rather just have a rest option where it does not track anything. It just pauses everything and waits for you to play it or just uh, plays it after a certain amount of time. Alright, so the next thing also in the workout app, I know I'm obsessed with the workout app since it's probably my most used app on the Apple Watch. But right now in order to measure your rest, you gotta pause and then quickly go to the stopwatch app. And it's just really annoying and then that's how you would do your rest. What if immediately you pause the workout, there's just a parentheses right here and it shows you how long it's been paused for. That would be a pretty nice feature to add to WatchOS 11. Something that I would be appreciate a lot and love Apple for since WatchOS 10 was not the best experience for me, especially because track detection broke in WatchOS 10.2 and it only recently got fixed. So if Apple can redeem themselves with WatchOS 11, I would be really happy, especially with that. All right, something very annoying about the workout app when running is that when you go to a run and then pause the run, notice right here it says segment. When I pause it, it grays out. You cannot create segments at all. This does not really make any sense. I really think Apple should figure out how they could add segments because I'd rather just pause the workout right away and then press the segment button. But I have to press the segment and then pause it or just double tap, which is annoying. You can't even double tap while it's paused. You can see like there, it doesn't create a segment. I tested Koros and Garmin, and Garmin for sure has the segment to pause. I'm pretty sure Apple should be able to include that inside of WatchOS 11, since it seems like a pretty easy feature to add. It doesn't make sense why it should be grayed out like that. Now the next one is something that is really easy for Apple to add. If I really want to play a song, I just can't unless I connect AirPods to it. As you can see, to play audio, connect Bluetooth headphones to your Apple Watch. What's the speaker for right here? 
what am I supposed to use it for? Now, my idea was you could just play music directly from the Apple Watch, so you don't need to wear AirPods while in a run since my AirPod Pros right here aren't really that good and they fall out of ear whenever I try running with them. But I would just appreciate the option to just play music out of the Apple Watch speakers in the middle of the run and I could just adjust the volume with the digital crown because right now the only way to, that I could do it is if I go over here and just connect headphones, I just can't press the play button and it asks me to, where I wanna play the audio to, which I just don't wanna wear AirPods because they, first of all, come out of my ear second. If they do fit in my ears, I got to, first of all, push them. Second of all, they start sweating and then the AirPods get wet and I fear that they're gonna break, so. Now the next feature I want is finally not in the workout app, but this feature is something that would make my life and a lot of other lives a whole lot easier. Maybe people who have an iPad might be able to use an Apple Watch. What if you were able to pair your Apple Watch with your iPad or Mac? And if you already have an iPhone, what if Apple just cloud kits the watch app and puts it on the Mac and the iPad? I think that would be a pretty nice feature to add where I could just manage my Apple Watch faces since I like doing everything on my Mac. I'm obsessed with my MacBook. So if I could just use my Apple Watch and manage it all on my MacBook, I would be really happy. All right, so the next one is an easier way to restore watchOS with an IPSW file. So right now, Apple does not provide any good way to restore your Apple Watch just in case you install beta software and want to go back. You got to send it to an Apple store, then they either give you a brand new watch or they just uh, take the sensors. There's like a little mini port in here where they just inject the new watchOS software. I hope we don't need to do that. I hope we can just do that ourselves because it's just really annoying that we can't IPSW restore our Apple Watches. What if just simply resetting does not work? We need a way to just restore our Apple Watches software without going into settings and then reset because sometimes that doesn't work. In my experience, when resetting macOS with the settings app, one day it might not work with the Apple Watch and what would I do? What if I don't have Apple Care? They're gonna charge me 50 bucks just to restore software. Now the next thing is something that I think will be very beneficial to the Apple Watch. So if I currently go into settings and then sound and haptics, first let me unsilence this. That kind of sounds old if I say so myself. It's a 10 year old sound at this point. There's also a notification sound. I'm not sure how to summon in it without getting a notification. I think that notification sounds kind of need to change in watchOS 11. They should have changed in watchOS 10 if it was going to be a big redesign, but I hope Apple does something about watchOS 11 where they change sounds because some of them sound really old, especially, especially if I do this. That sound is old and even this is old. They just all sound old. I hope Apple can just manage the new sound. And yeah, that's basically what I want, new sounds in watchOS 11. All right, so the next one is something that will give the Apple Watch a lot more flexibility, a lot more customization. This Apple has not really been doing this lately. So we do have watch faces, new ones here and there, but we only got three, four, five, six, six in the past year. What if we could get hundreds in the past year? So I'm saying, what if there was an API where you could make your own watch faces, maybe with Swift UI? I think that would be a really nice way to customize your Apple Watch. And I hope Apple considers that. I would definitely make my own watch faces. I would make my own dedicated app just for making your own watch faces. Because I think that is something Apple should add. And I'm surprised they haven't added something like that yet. All right, so my next thing is more control center buttons. All right, so my last thing is inside of the control center, we need more control center buttons. So right now we have all of these, but sometimes when I'm going on a run, I have my always on display off just to save battery, but the always on display comes in useful with inside of workouts. So what if instead of going into here and then going into display, where is that display and brightness and then always on and turn that on. What if we have that toggle in here, you could just add it. There's really no way to turn it on in here. Let me know what you think about this wish list down below. Thanks for watching. Comment, like, subscribe, share this with your friends. And I would highly recommend watching this video. It's my favorite Willy Apple video on this channel. And I put a lot of work into it. But yeah, 
Download my apps, Willy Widgets and Study Wrecked, and join my Discord server, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!